Welcome back, everybody. It's been quite a while. So, I've... I know my last video, I think I did... Well, one of my last ones, I had said that it was going to be a while between my next videos. Um, and that's because I went on vacation and just took some personal time and stuff and really enjoyed the outdoors this summer a lot more than I had been. And, um, anyways, now that it's starting to cool down a bit and days are getting shorter, uh, getting down here in the train room a little bit more, or I'm going to be. So this is just going to be a quick little what's to come video. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick. I did this over the summer. I started working on these. So as you guys know, I have my Sherman tank train. Um, I'll just show you this. I did up this one car so far. Um, I've been wanting to do the decks on these cars for quite a while. And I'll just kind of show you a side-by-side -side comparison here to what they look like. So here's the one that I finished. Hopefully you guys can see that I weathered the deck. And I'm eventually going to be putting chains to these, uh, these tanks so that they look like they're chained down, which I think will be pretty cool. And then I'm also going to be adding six more uh, tanks to fill up those other three cars because I decided that I like the look of two tanks on a train or on a, on a flat car versus just one. So then this is what it looks like empty or empty <laughs> uh, without the weathering on it. So you can see it's really plain and then I'll pan over to that one and you can see how weathered it looks. So I think it turned out pretty good. Um, again, this is what it starts as. And then this is what I'm going to be going for. So, and you can kind of see all the wood grain in it. And I wanted some spots that were darker. You know, maybe some oil spilt there from the tanks or whatnot or whatever. Make them all grimed up. And then I'm going to be put be putting a dull coat on these two of some sort. I want to find something to to dull these down with. So if you guys have any suggestions, because right now you can see it's pretty shiny. Um, I want to get that off now that I have the deck how I want it. Um, so I'd like to make that I don't know, almost like a matte finish. So it's real, looks real grimy. Uh, other than that, I I don't think I've done much else. The uh, the bridge is still over there and hasn't been touched. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Still haven't done any more ballast work. Uh, yeah, this is just a quick little update. I'm in the process of working on some shelving, so. For, I got a couple of, I don't know, bigger display items that I'm going to be putting up on the shelving. Um, such as that set. Um, that is my grandpa's Lionel 2026 from 1949. He got it. So I'm going to be putting that up on a display shelf along with all of its cars. Um, and this was... This was the whole complete set. So I have the Tender, the Boxcar, Gondola, um, Crane Car, Tank Car, and Caboose. And then the Locomotive. Um, the Locomotive is currently on the workbench getting new brushes and fixing some of the uh, side rods on it and whatnot. And I got to rewire the light because it shorted out um, so yeah getting that cleaned up um, I'm gonna be having a video come out on how I filled the gaps in on the pilots on this guy as you can see there's no more gaps on it and then I'm gonna be doing it in two parts um, 
but I'm also going to be showing how I add the detail parts, which I currently have, I just have not installed yet. So anyways, that is it for now, and I will hopefully have some real cool videos coming out shortly. Uh, see you next time.